Hello everyone and welcome back to Play-Doh videos. Today we're going to make a super cute Play-Doh whale. That's right, a whale. Usually whales are under the ocean and they're humongous. So of course ours is going to be a little bit smaller, but he's going to give you the feeling of a cute whale. You ready to get started? Here's what we need. Some blue Play-Doh, some white Play-Doh, and some googly eyes. We're ready to get started. Take the blue Play-Doh, a good amount, a good thick amount, and then on a flat surface, use one hand and go back and forth. So you have a very thick cone. You wanna put a little bit of pressure on one side, so it's thinner on one side and thicker on the other. Okay, good. Now, once it's nice and even, you can stop rolling and use your fingers and watch what I'm doing here, you see? On the thinner side, I'm not just making it a little bit thinner, I'm actually angling it. I'm actually turning it and curving it a little bit. You see that? I'm curving, yeah? So it's not so much a carrot or a cone, it's, you know, like a big teardrop almost. It's like a, it's curved at both sides, but very thin and it curves around. Okay, good, now just put that aside for now. And let's take some more blue Play-Doh and make a smaller ball and then press down. And here now we're gonna use our thumbs and what we want is to create a little ridge on one side, you see? And on this side, it should have a kind of a ridge, kind of like a heart shape, but not pointy, you see? So you have your heart and make sure it's a little thicker at the top. And now, we're gonna stick a little matchstick and that heart shape, believe it or not, when we stick it at the very end of our other piece, becomes a huge tail. That was surprising, wasn't it? Uh, you're probably wondering, what is that piece gonna be? And there it is. And it all holds together very well. Okay. Okay, now just so that we know where the head is, let's take our googly eyes this is a very big head. It's a very big face on our whale. So we're gonna put the googly eyes on either side and a good amount of space between them. They should be even, but pretty far apart. That makes it look really cute. And now let's take the Play-Doh knife and we're gonna create a little personality by making this a happy whale. Nice, simple smile. You see? Just like so. Okay, great. Almost done. We've got a whale with googly eyes and a smile and a great tail, but we're missing something. What are we missing? That's right, fins. For our whale to swim under the ocean, he needs fins. So let's take some white Play-Doh, and you don't need much, but let's just take a little piece off and a second piece, and they should be the same size, and start pressing down into an oval-like shape with a little bit more narrow, a little bit more narrow at one side, but all very round and curvy, yeah? No points here, There's not, it's not angular or pointy. Okay, great. Now, they should be about the same size and about the same shape. And once you have that, you wanna put each fin somewhere in the middle, not too far back. It should be closer to the front, but not on top of his eyeballs. Put the fin so that it actually touches the floor, touches the ground. You see how it is overlapping? It's like a big floppy fin. And if you curve the whale's body so that the tail is sticking way up, we can get our whale to look like he's swimming. And there you go. That's fantastic. You see how simple that was? Just a few little steps, and we created a whole personality there, a happy little whale. Well, that was fantastic. Great job. Well done. You have a Play-Doh whale in front of you, and he is one happy swimmer. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to more Play-Doh videos. Today, we're going to make an adorable dragonfly. Today, we're going to make a really simple little creature, a starfish. <laughs> 